Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here with Weather in 5, five days and five minutes tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. We've got the first of two storm systems that will be impacting the Northeast. And we'll be talking about the winter weather advisories that have gone up for parts of that area. We have also have advisories back across the Great Lakes, winter storm warnings uh, up uh, in and around uh, the uh, Great Lakes themselves, the lower Great Lakes in the northeastern Iowa and southeastern Minnesota. More winter storm mornings out in the west where it, it never seems to end. All that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York and Southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. Your go-to place this spring for everything you need uh, from, sol- from sand to topsoil to mulch. And if we get another winter weather event, they've got salt. 631-756-1125, the phone number for the best prices in town. And OmniTrueValue.com is the website. So let's start it off with the Weather Service's snowfall forecast map for this first event uh, that is coming for later tomorrow, tomorrow night into early Saturday morning. Uh, You can see that the bigger amounts are inland and west Uh, So the amounts do tail off. We might see uh, forecasters raise a few of these numbers uh, as the late afternoon and evening forecasts come in and update. Uh, But uh, from uh, earlier today, it was basically an inch or less uh, in Connecticut and along the coast, maybe only as little as a coating uh, to a few inches as you go west and northwest of New York City up into northwest New Jersey and into northeastern Pennsylvania. Elevation is going to make a difference here. So if uh, you are high up, uh, you stand a better chance of seeing a more significant accumulation. And we have significant accumulations of several inches to maybe as much as six in northern Pennsylvania down uh, into uh, the through the mountains and into West Virginia. And some of those amounts are in the two to three inch range. We've got a few of the higher ele- elevations going up at six or more. It, it's that time of year, folks, where elevation is going to be a big driver of, of uh, weather systems uh, in the next uh, several weeks. In the meantime, Another nice day in the east, although another windy day with gusty winds uh, continuing. Uh, They should have eased some today, but that March sun uh, heats up the atmosphere. It's cold aloft. It mixes down and you blow away. And in the meantime, you can see the moisture that's gathering across the northern plains and Great Lakes down into the middle Mississippi Valley. And that is with our next storm system. And the radars are rather busy. Rains from central Illinois on southward into Arkansas and across uh, the Gulf states, uh, the interior part of the Gulf states, while it's snow in northern Illinois and back through Wisconsin, northern Iowa, and over into southern Minnesota. Meanwhile, take a look in the west in California, getting pounded by heavy rains and some heavy snows uh, in the mountains, and that continues without uh, no end in sight, it seems although it has to end eventually. And we've got uh, rain and snow coming in uh, up in the Pacific Northwest. WPC, uh, seven-day rainfall amounts, uh, uh, liquid precip amounts, I should say. So I'm going to break this down uh, with uh, regards to uh, days one and two. So this is uh, from tonight into Saturday evening. So this really encompasses the first system in the Northeast. So we're looking at about a half to three quarters of an inch of liquid. Mounts tail off as you go north up into central New England, and they tail off as you go south from southern New Jersey down into Virginia. And obviously some of this across northern Pennsylvania and up through New York and into New England uh, is going to be in the form of snow. Also back in and around the Great Lakes, some areas getting a half to three quarters of an inch of liquid and uh, solid rains of one uh, to three inches uh, possible along the coast of California with uh, five inches or more of liquid precip in the uh, in the Sierra Nevadas. Now, uh, I'm going to take a look at the next storm system, which is going to be uh, Monday into Tuesday. So I want to just take a look at that in pieces uh, in the Northeast. We're looking at uh, this is from Sunday night to Monday night, looking at a ha- uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch being indicated by WPC, and then some leftover precip on Tuesday. This probably will wind up getting adjusted, uh, depending on which way the models go with all of this. And with our first system, this is the probability of at least two inches. And I always like to use that 50% line as a good bet of getting at least two. So that runs 
pretty much west of I-91 in Connecticut and then going down all the way into southwest Connecticut, north of 95 uh, to about Route 287 uh, into New Jersey. So from there, north and west into northwest New Jersey, you start to get into probabilities of 80, 90, 100 percent probability of at least two. That extends up into the Catskills and also in the Hudson Valley and north uh, north of Route 84 and in northwest Connecticut, north of Route 84. And you can see the large area of 80 to 100 percent probability running right through uh, the upper Midwest and all the way back up uh, into the Northern Plains. So uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at how this is all potentially going to play out. Uh, let's take a look first at uh, system number one, uh, which is uh, going to be uh, for later tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday. Low pressure uh, moving out of uh, Missouri. Uh, you see it there, the L near Louisville, Kentucky into southern Ohio. This is at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, snowing uh, in uh, Pennsylvania. Rain from Maryland south. Uh, we'll push some rain into New Jersey and southeast and south central PA by evening and, and then further east during the overnight, some colder air will get into the mix across Connecticut, northern New Jersey, northeastern Pennsylvania, uh, upstate New York, where we'll see some snow. It may drag its way down to the coast by the time we get to daybreak on Saturday. And then the storm is going to uh, pull out to the east, a little bit more moisture during Saturday morning before the storm pulls away and weather conditions begin to improve. Now, there's some questions about the second one, which will be Sunday night into Monday and early Tuesday. The GFS has got this really flat looking system coming off the southeast coast and it doesn't really become a sizable storm until it gets up into the Gulf of Maine. However, we have a lot of indications from various other models that we looked at, including the European. And by the way, just as a reminder, on this map, it doesn't show precipitation type, it only shows uh, precip amounts. So it doesn't delineate between what here is rain and what here is snow, but uh, the European, and it's been on this for several days now, as a low comes off the North Carolina coast on Monday and then strengthens into a major storm just offshore, uh, heads over close to Cape Cod. Um, this could be a significant snow producer for some areas in the Northeast, but it's way too early to say uh, uh, who and how, where and how much. So uh, that's something that we're going to be talking about tonight uh, on the uh, Joe and Joe Weather Show. So be sure and tune in at 735. Weather in 5 brought to you by OmniTrueValue.com, uh, uh, Omni Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125, the phone number, the website, OmniTrueValue.com. We'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 735 p.m.